All right, here we are. Welcome to SATAC, everyone. First round of matches. Please let me know if you can hear me okay. Today we've got 45th versus the Cheng Kong 81st. All right, thanks for the confirmation edits. So today we've got uh, Ross Leva. I think that's how you pronounce, pronounce this. Leva, is that a V? <clears throat> so again, we've got uh, CK 81st. Let me tell you about this squad. Give me one second. The CK 81st, the Flying Fan Squadron from China, founded with the concept of friendship from all parts of China and the socialist country's members. We have a squadron more than 100 people with strict discipline and media support from EverJam. We're in active, DC, active in DCS activities in China and around the world, similar to SATAC and other comps. And with the 45th, 45th uh, Horsemen, the newly founded comp team, uh, finished tax season. They helped uh, us in SBQR, um, and they are actively looking for new players. So... One second while I look. Sorry, give me one moment here, dealing with some...
All right, sorry about that. We uh, are using new servers. Um, the our or my <laughs> dynamic DCS server uh, for say tack and uh, just had to get that all set up. So the first time running the comp on these servers and uh, using special K's incredible DCS server bot. All right, so it looks like everybody's good now. Let me just check one thing. Okay, all good. All right, well, let's look at what we're uh, up against here. Um, 81st has two Hornets, two Vipers, and two F-15Cs. Uh, again, Satak, let me go over the rules. Satak um, allows all four gen aircraft, so in does include FC-3. So you will see a lot of flinkers and F-15Cs. You're allowed four active Fox 3s, no 9Xs, uh, no um, air-to-ground weapons other than you are allowed to have Tauds. So let me check skins here. It does look like I have skins. Yay. And let's check 81st skins. And... Those look really sick. Not gonna lie. That's a good looking aircraft there. Are you able to hear the uh, in game sound? Okay. Please let me know in chat. So the rules say tack. Again, big bubble. Uh, let's see. Measures. A little over 100, about 100 miles in diameter. Once you enter the bubble, you cannot uh, exit and then return. You'll blow up. If an aircraft were to um, have a disconnect or crash after taking off, there is no return from that. You're done. So that counts as a, as a death. After... Controlling the airspace, you do have to return to your own base. So, a little bit different from a couple of the other comps. Um, but makes fuel very, very important. So, sometimes you'll see teams just hanging out on their side when they know they have to return to their own base. Jamming is allowed in SATAC. I do want to mention that. Um, so sometimes you will see aircraft carrying jammers. Let's see if loadouts here. I'm sure everybody's got... Correct loadouts. Still loading up here on this 15. And I do see jamming pods from the 81st, so that should be interesting. And Sparrows, two 120s, two 9Ms. Let's see if there's any jammers from 45th. Doesn't look like it.
Sorry, guys, just checking to make sure. Okay. Sorry, just a lot of mayhem this morning trying to get everybody uh, settled on this new server configuration. And one thing pretty interesting on our server, the uh, dynamic DCS server, we are using, again, Special K's DCS server bot, which has some really cool features around stat tracking. Um, so, you know, be a different twist from other comps where we'll be able to see KDs from specific pilots um, and also has a few other cool features. Such as true skill. All right, just waiting for 81st to get ready here. Let's see how they're doing on the runway. Nope, but it's 45th. 81st, just starting to taxi now. And apologies for no music. Could not get Spotify to work with with OBS. So we'll have to uh, check into that. So let's check the loadout of these F-15s. Uh, interesting, only carrying one 9 mic on a double rail. Well, obviously double rail. Four 120s. Standard F-16, four 120s, two 9Ms with the jammer. T-pod, targeting pod on this one with the jammer. This Hornet with two 9Ms, four 120s, and two Sparrows. And all the loadouts for 45th are the same. Looks like they're redoing tanks as they wait, which I would too. Basically just turn on your ground jettison, drop them, reload, rewind. Oh, so it looks like the front flight has a little bit different uh, skin than the back plate, pretty sweet. That carbon fiber skin, looking very nice. Look, I am missing the skin for the Hornets, but I did receive them from 81st last night. I did follow the ACC tournament. There were countdowns uh, for teams to get ready. That's not the case in SATAC, so no uh, time limit for teams to get loaded up and in the air. It looks like 81st just sorting themselves out here in the middle of the runway. So. 
Alright, we're back. Alright, there we have the go, go, go. Watch 45th take off here in the group. Make sure everybody gets gears up. Nerves are running pretty crazy. First comp of a first match of a comp. So things like that happen. And 81st Veyron. Gear up. Kingfisher climbing up. Let's watch their ingress. Are you guys, guys able to hear the in game sounds? So. Are you hearing that sweet F 16 afterburner? Please let me know in chat. All right, looks like we've got Kingfisher and Veyron, the leading two ship trailed by the Hornets, and then these F-15Cs taking up last, probably going to get super high and fast. I think we'll see, knowing uh, 45th pretty well, we'll see two, three ships, I'm sorry, three, two ships, uh, one up the middle, and then one to the uh, northwest and one to the southeast side of the battle arena. Got edits and sauce off to the uh, north, Wombat and West up the middle, and then Twig and Vibe on the southernmost group. Don't think we'll see 45th uh, get much higher than 30,000K. Um, we'll see if this is a bigger arena. Um, but so far, it doesn't look like the uh, 81st are climbing aggressively just at 18, 14,000 feet here. See if they're in burner. Nope. It's right at mill power, 100% RPM. Getting fenced in. But I bet you this 15s are blasted. Oh no, gear is down called it. People get nervous. They get nervous on the free first matches and forget to do things like put the gear up. Let's hopefully uh, East figures that out. I'm not sure in the 15 if you can uh, put gear up under power. You have to bring it down below a certain... Not sure, though. All right, 45th, uh, continuing their ingress. Again, stick, sticking right around 20,000 feet. Hopefully, Eastwind will uh, catch wind of his gear. <laughs> Try to fix that. Otherwise, he'll be good at notching. That's about it. There is AWACS in SATAC, so teams do have full data link capability. Of course, F-15C would not. And then you have also the uh, latest fighter-to-fighter -fighter data link released from ED this year.
All right, groups are still at uh, 90 miles here and no threats of any shots anytime soon. So depending on where you are in the world, go grab another coffee, beer, whatever suits you at this time of day. And let's see, Eastwind did get his gear up. Good for him. That would have sucked. It's probably like, why am I not getting up to Mach 3? I'll check the other. Gotta love the sound of the F-18. So should see these uh, outer two ships of the 45th start breaking off to the edge of the circle, if I were to guess, knowing having flown with them quite a bit. So the 15s here are getting up to altitude and speed, 830 knots from Sky Hunter, still 680, of course, with gear down. Wouldn't expect them to be up to speed at this point. Uh, but 16s of Veyron and Kingfisher up the middle with Dolphin and Jam as missile trucks in the back. All right, getting to uh, about 50 miles here, so might see some posturing shots come off the rail in about 10 miles or so, I would guess. <laughs> Apologize, just getting over the flu, so. So Kingfisher and Veyron pushing hard up the middle. Everyone's pretty much co-altitude, except for the 15s who are up at uh, climbing through 35, 40,000 feet. East wind now breaking 800 knots, but Sky Hunters screaming at 960 knots, 36,000. These 45th guys will definitely see them on Data Link. Wonder if Sat looks better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, satellite looks nicer. Turn these grids off. All right, so see the lead of the two ships now flanking, possibly turning cold. Hoping to drag shots off of that uh, lead two ship from 81st. Nothing, uh, no weapons in the air yet. But uh, East Wind will be sorting on those guys as they turn out to the east while sky hunter comes in the flank see sauce and west sorting on sky hunter up to the north would imagine sky hunter getting shots off but as you see 45th is down in the dirt they are not fooling around getting caught up high wombat sorted on kingfisher all right now shit's just gonna start Getting crazy here. I'll do my best to keep up. Uh, Kingfisher may be turning cold here, dragging back into Veyron. And there's a first 120 off of Sky Hunter, probably on West or Sauce. Sauce returning to Sky Hunter is at 51,000 feet. He is going to need to out energy that missile, but it's low to high. So. Another 120 off of Sky Hunter, and he's not sorting on those closed targets, just getting at the, uh, sending those to the team in the middle of the formation. This 120 has got some juice on it. Let's watch that. And notched by Vibe. Good notch by Vibe. 
This 120 still screaming, but on cold Wombat. Doubt that will be an issue. We'll watch it in. Where's Wombat? Notched. 45th doing a good job so far notching. There's a 120 off of edits onto Dolphin. They're trading. Uh, Eastwind has gotten behind 45th here. Uh, let's check that 120, I think, uh, from edits. Losing energy on a cold load. Dolphin, don't think that's going to hit. Veyron sending on the west, but Eastwind is now behind 45th. And that could cause some issues for them trying to turn cold. One twenty there from Kingfisher on the sauce. You know, forty fifth staying super low. All of them down in dirt at this point. One thing about this uh, Persian Gulf map. Map. Oh, did we lose somebody? Edits died. Looks like a C fit uh, from Edits. That's unfortunate. But now Eastwind and Skyhunter are behind the forty fifth. Double 120 shot onto Wombat. I uh, hate to see firing on the same target. Eastwind with a 120 off on West. But West stays hot. And notched. West stayed hot to get this off on the Eastwind. Let's see if that's got a chance to get a climb up and catch him. Down to a thousand knots. Don't think that's going to do it. East one just flying over. And there's a shot from 120 and Kingfisher. Hunt, Sky Hunter is circling back around, but he's got west on him. Up here to the north, all sorts of shots going on. Looks like, oh, lost sauce to a sea fit, I think. And Twig is down from a shot from uh, Jam. So I believe, oh, and we just lost Dolphin, I believe. So we've got a 5v3. Merged Kingfisher vibe with Veyron. Shot from both angles. Both miss vibe somehow. Notches both and takes out Jam, I think. Wombat coming in on Veyron. Veyron taken out. Was unable to notch that. Down to the south. I'm trying to give you the full picture here. Skyhunter still super high. Both east wind and Skyhunter circling west. Down at the south here. While well, Vibe and Wombat are sorted on Kingfisher. East wind needs to decide which... Wait, do we lose one of the F-15s? No. Okay, Eastwind is resorting up to the north. Sky Hunter staying up high down to the south. Oh, then just lost Veyron up to the north against that two ship of Vibe and Wombat. And there goes Sky Hunter from west. That low to high shot. Now it's just goes from a 5v3 now to a 1v3. Eastwind with an off bore shot. They're on the vibe. Notched. That 120 will not catch East Wind. Let's see what he's got for missiles. He has two 120s. I believe those are 120s. Yep. And two 9Ms. He could do it. What 45th needs to do here is to uh, kind of cast a net. Not all take the same uh, direction. Tried to lead where East Wind's going west. Should try to come off here to the uh, more to the west. Cut off East Wind instead of chasing his tail. Eastwind turning back in, 
see Wombat, 1-9-M, Vibe, 1-9-2-9-Ms, West, 2-9-Ms. So they have no Fox 3s, whereas the East Wind does 120 off of East Wind, but he's turning in into the two ship of Vibe. That 9-M probably won't catch him. This 120, God, I hate to follow the 120. Misses, Notch by West. We've got a merge here. Now, West doesn't know that they have no 120s, uh, and he does have a 120, so would want to uh, extend here since you know you have a 120, but of course he has no clue. Two circle, coming around for a gunshot. He's got his six. And you can see the other 45th guys coming in now. Somebody's got a 9M. They should call, pull off here. Let me use my 9M. If Eastwind could extend, get out of there, come back with the 120. But he is dragging these F-16s out of fuel, that's for sure. All of them just mixed in here. Oh, don't reverse your turn. There's a 9M in the flare, 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 flare. Ah, oh, Chaff isn't going to do it. And there's the last kill. Wombat takes out Eastwind with the 9M. That was an incredible fucking match. Oh, and crashes into the uh, set of buildings there. That's too bad. That was an amazing fight. We had 5v3 after the C-Fit from edits. And turned around by... Very nice notching uh, from Wombat and the rest of his 45th crew. So we'll see what they've got for fuel. Um, they have to return back to their own base, not enemy base. Climbing at mill power. I'd get rid of those 9Ms if I were uh, west here. Just add drag. And Vibe's still carrying his wing tanks. I'm guessing those are empty. Might want to dump those. But maybe they're not. Let's see how long they've got here to get back to their base. So 93 miles. And we will sit and watch. At this point's a good time to climb with the fuel you've got. Set up the jet to get your uh, fuel max, the maximize your fuel and altitude situation. Well, they RTB do want to say thanks. Just want to give a shout out to those sponsors, Heepler, VKB, Lot ATC, TacView, Don't see 45th uh, climbing aggressively here to get altitude for a uh, glide path, so guessing their fuel state is not urgent.
sorry guys just been talking to the other moderators uh just have a conversation about people needing to leave you must disconnect from the server as soon as you're uh dead just for um sportsmanship you watch here's wombat it's ready for his overhead break i'm guessing we're burner on Tell Sierra break. All right, looks like West will be the first to land here. That nice arrow break. Battery soft touchdown. I just want to pull full aft stick. No arrow break from West. His brakes are going to be screaming hot. Wombat. And lastly, five. Well, I will restart this the mission. Give me one second.
All right, so we're back, just waiting for the mission to restart here shortly. There is a two minute timer. Check my Discord. All right, there we have it. Mission is restarted. All right, with that, let me change the score here. That was a very close match. It could have uh, gone... Either way there at the end, um, but great job by 45th, you know, again, and 81st. Both teams did great. Those 15s getting behind this, the uh, formation, but 45th just staying low, terrain masking, notching those 120s. Um, the state of the 120s right now, unfortunately, very easy to notch, but it is what it is. And the teams that do it best are probably going to do well in this tournament. So while they load in, I am going to refill my Coke Zero here and uh, give a little shout out to our sponsor.
All right, and we're back here with the second round of the first SATAC. Oops, what did I do? Uh, the first um, match of SATAC. Forty fifth winning um, with a. Sorry, give me one second here. 45th winning, returning three ships. So a 6-3 to three victory for 45th. Looking at 81st, uh, again, two 16s. Still opting for the jammer. Although, it looks like we have a new pilot, Dishu, uh, for 81st, with no jammer, carrying three bags. You are allowed to swap pilots. I'm just confirming that that is okay. I think I'm pretty sure it is, but just want to make sure. And we've got the four Amram, two Sparrow, two Nine M loadout. I'm not sure why that other rack is there on the wing. But I am sure Jam will figure it out. Same loadout for Dolphin. And it is okay to change the pilots between rounds. So, looks like 45th is lined up. Still have Edit Twombat and Twig up front with Amp, West, and Vibe in the back. Same loadouts. And we'll go back and check on 81st. Looks like the 15s are ready. The 15s are taking a short runway takeoff here. Thing accelerates so fast that it can take off from the driveway. And if you're just joining, this is the second round of the first match of SATAC. There's also uh, ETF. Airshow is streaming um, the ETF versus ACR match on his Twitch. Uh, but the first round of this match between 81st, uh, CK 81st uh, squadron from China and 45th went to the 45th um, was a 5v3 situation in favor of CK 81st a bit, but 45th was able to turn that around and pull off a 6-3 victory. You are allowed to change pilots, however, the airframes must be the same. So if you had two 15s, two 18s, two 16s in the first round, you are stuck with that for 
the entire match. So it looks like East Twins got his gear up. Sky Hunters got his gear up. Now this time, a little change in tactics from the CK81 squad. The 15s took off first in the first uh, round. They were last to take off. So it looks like they're trying to get up in front. And uh, try to take some long shots here, potentially. And if you in the first round, the 15s did get behind the formation of 45th and capitalize on, uh, I think, one or two kills there, but then got mixed in, and 45th was able to. Terrain mask and notch several of their shots. Get into a merge. The final um, battle there. And uh, take out the 15 with the 9M shot. So 45th looks like pretty much same thing. Three, two ships. Hanging out at 22, 20,000 feet. Probably mill power. Yep. 100%. And these 15s are probably screaming up. So again, looks like the 15s are taking either side of the bubble. Or Sky Hunter possibly could be going up the middle here. And looks like we had a disconnect from AMP. That's unfortunate. So we will have a 6v5 this time. So 45th probably scrambling to uh, readjust their tactics a little bit. Check pings here. Pings are not too bad. Highest is two sixty four. The server is located in the the U.S. Uh, Chicago, to be exact. Very powerful, 13900K, 128 gigs of RAM, 1 or 10 gigabit Ethernet. And again, all these matches are being uh, managed by the Special K DCS server bot. If you own a multiplayer server and you do not have his bot, I highly recommend that you go check out um, Special K's bot because it is incredible. All right, 15s uh, 
climbing Sky Hunter up to 50,000 feet. The front um, front line of the uh, 45th have turned off cold, or at least pre-notching, not cold. Hitting the deck. While east wind up to the north here, climbing through 40,000 feet, 1,100 knots. That's insane. He is screaming. And that powerful F-15C radar can see fairly well. So should see shots coming off the rail here soon. Sky Hunter now turning back to the north. And there's a shot from Sky Hunter up to the northern group and one from East Wind. We'll check this one from East Wind as it is absolutely screaming coming down from the top. Cannot turn cold from that. Your only chance is to notch. Will he do it? No. And down goes Twig. Or I'm sorry, Edits. So Edits. Wait. That did hit Twig. Uh... All right, well, it looks like we have some desync because that 120 on my screen, 100% hit twig. I'm not sure what to say about that, ED. Um, that's unfortunate for 81st because that, again, on my screen, 100% was a hit. I'm not seeing any damage on Twig's aircraft. And nothing we can do about that. Unfortunately, ED, let's get this uh, netcode fixed so these desync issues don't have such a huge effect on these um, multiplayer servers. Shots being fired at Kingfisher and Edits, but they're off cold immediately. None. Of those should be dangerous, but West coming back down to the southeast here, shooting on Dolphin. Dolphin's low, gets the warning, turns off cold. Should be no effect there. Sky Hunter and East Wind crossing, doing a cross block there. Keep their altitude and energy. Double shot from Jam onto Twig, but Twig's immediately out cold. West launching on Sky Hunter here from 46,000 feet. Low to high shot. Can Sky Hunter get one off in return? He does. Will this missile have enough speed to catch him? I doubt it. Oh, Sky Hunter's missile was not on West. That appears to be on Vibe. We'll watch that come down from space. And Twig has died. And that missile is defeated. So Twig has gone down. Uh, looks like a C-Fit did not see a kill message. West and Dishu trading shots. Both notched or defeated. Two shots on Vibe. Vibe is not going to beat that. Plus a 9M. Also lost Dishu there. Um, and the shot from West. Kingfisher. The shot on West, but West already cold. 
So you get Jam taking down Vibe, West taking down Dishu, Eastwind and Sky Hunter circling back around, keeping their altitude and speed. Some trading shots, these low. Shots are really not going to be effective on cold tart once you turn cold in the F-16. This one's got some promise. Nope. Look at that missile right behind Kingfisher. All right, Sky Hunter coming back in from 32,000 feet. Not seeing edits, probably in ground clutter. Hopefully that's not a friendly. Flies right over edits. Getting back behind the... Oh, and we did have a death. Wombat did take out Jam. So we now have a 4v3. There's an aim 7 on edits. That's not going to catch a cold. Double shot, 120. From Dolphin onto Edits. Takes out Edits. Wombat now sorting back on Dolphin. Sky Hunter and Eastwind need to try to get back into this fight. West is by himself up against Sky Hunter. Wombat is by himself against Kingfisher and Dolphin. Sorting on Kingfisher. West sorting on Sky Hunter. Excuse me. So we've got a 4v2. Wombat catching up to Kingfisher. That's a 9M shot. Flaring, got to pull more G. And down goes Kingfisher. So Sky, got Sky Hunter and Eastwind still screaming up in the stratosphere. West and Wombat still on the deck with Dolphin. Let's see what Dolphin's missile state is. 17M219. I'll check the 15s here in a minute. Let's see what West has got. West puts out a 120 on Dolphin. Dolphin needs to immediately try to notch that. And is unable to notch 9M. Doesn't track. So 2v2. Let's check these 15s. 2 120s, 2 9Ms for Sky Hunter Eastwind with 1 120, 2 9Ms. They're going to need to work those radars. Wombat and West really need to, to, to calculate what they're going to do here. Check the missile state on Wombat. Wombat's down to 19M. West down to 19M. So 9M's only for 45th. Eastwind with I think a total of three 120s and four 9Ms. 120 off of Eastwind from 24,000 feet. I think that's on Wombat. Wombat with a 9M on Sky Hunter. Sky Hunter returning his shot. Sky Hunter down to the 9M. The 120 and Wombat taken out from e Sky Hunter. Now it's East Wind versus, versus uh, West. 1v1. West is on the 6 of East Wind. West only has a 9M, I believe. There's a 9M. Off the rail, no flaring, and takes out East Wind for the to take control of the battlefield. Now West will need to land in order to win the match. Wow, what a match! Just make sure everyone falls off here. Good. All right, West will re need to return back to uh, Al uh, Ras Al Kama. 
which is a 97 mile flight. But as we saw with the last round, fuel really wasn't an issue. That 120, uh, that hit at an amp early on in the match, causing no damage, unfortunately could have been the difference in this, in this match. So while West uh, returns to base, let's give a little love to our sponsors. All right, back here, West still cruising, climbing slowly up through 26,000. And if he lands, that will be the match. 45th will win the round. Sorry, just uh, trying to figure.
a bit of a I think there might be a little bit of a issue seeing that missile hit in that round um, the 15s missile impacted and showed an explosion I think against Amp or Twig, can't remember. Unfortunately, with DCS, desync, uh, took no damage and continued to fly. But um, that is DCS at the moment. So. So we'll wait here for West, who's up to 33,000 feet, now has 38 miles to land. Should not be an issue with the 16. Still 95% RPM. But when you're the last guy, pressure's on to land. It's got a huge runway, though. So it was a pretty incredible match. Came down to uh, merge there at the end. 1v1. West with the 9M shot. Again, those F-15s, if you've got a 120 left, I would maybe assume that the 16 doesn't. Just extend, get the hell out of there. Turn, turn back around with that long stick. Gain the advantage with the power. Get the out in the fuel. Don't get into a turn fight, two circle fight with an F-16. If you've got a 120 pretty at that late in the game, it's a little dangerous to assume, but unlikely they have a 120 left, especially only carrying four in this comp. But still great flying by uh, CK-81st. Really great um, tactic. 45th, though. Surviving, unfortunately. Um, did see some desync there with the 120 that clearly connected on my screen and showed uh, an explosion, but no damage taken. But that is, unfortunately, like I said, DCS at the moment. <laughs> So we'll watch West now. There's the air base off to his uh, nine o'clock.
and West just with the straight in short final. Grabbing a little bit, must be some uh, frost winds in the server. Mission, I should say. And with that, 45th will take the second round of the first match against CK 81st, who flew brilliantly. Both teams did really well. It was a great fight. Came down to 1v1 at the end. I do want to announce the SATAC trailer will be ready by the 9th of uh, February. It'll be epic. So stay tuned for that. Join the 50 Perk uh, Discord. Grab that for everyone. Be sure to join the 50 Perk uh, 100 Discord. Thanks for a great uh, comp. Great window. I'll change the score here. Make it official. And with that, 45th takes the win. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, let's see. I believe the ETF, uh, the, the match. So go check Airship's channel. I think their match is still going on. All right. Well, with that, I'm signing off. Again, congrats to both teams for a great fight. Congrats, 45th, for the win. Take care.